One of the things that's really exciting about this program is it's very tangible. At the end of the day, when you're done, you really get to have in your hands what it is that you've built. And that's one of the people, things people love about it. You're taking raw metal and you're shaping it into shapes, you're making parts, you're helping airplanes fly, you're helping people bring ideas into reality. The machining program here is really aimed at giving people a foundation in learning how to machine. And what we mean by machine is we're going to take machine tools, lathes, mills, grinders, both computerized and manual, and we're going to learn how to cut metal. trigonometry, we learn tool geometry, we learn how to use the machinery's handbook. We really try to give you the foundation that you need to be successful going on in the industry. And the feedback we get from the employers that hire our students is very good. There's a lot of structure, a lot of things you have to do on a schedule, but there's also a lot of freedom. If you show me that, yes, I have this skill and I want to try this project or I want to meet the, the the skill set of this project by doing something else, I give students freedom that way. What we study in the classroom is we go over materials and heat treating and different types of plastic. We go over geometric dimension and tolerancing. We go over print reading. We do a lot of different kinds of math and it's very practical math. So people that struggle with math sometimes do very well in here. Two thousand twelve is turning out to be just a boom year for manufacturing in this area. Boeing is ramping up, they have huge orders, and I can't produce enough students. There's just no way that I can put enough students out there to meet the demand. So it's an awesome time to go into this. Well, we do a CAD CAM system here, we do what we call Master CAM. So my students have to do several projects every quarter that they take master cam and they make a drawing with it and then they do what they call a post processor which generates the G code and then they run it. My name is Mike Clifton and I teach the machine technology program at Lake Washington Institute of Technology.